let's go ahead and pick it on up, shall we? No worries. <coughs> I'm a I. It's a shame you can't make freaking like uh chests or shit from here, but you know whatever. I need to buy six kale made out of crackalackins. That's one change I don't like, or er, well, not a change, but one difference between Stardew and uh, this game uh, is the fact that I have to replay the ground. Which, to be honest, it makes sense that you'd have to replay the ground, but I'm lazy. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I turn off seasonal effects after I've seen them the first time. Because I just don't want to deal with them. They're more of an annoyance than anything. I wanted to experience each season's effects. And then say fuck it. I just assumed the, uh, birds were... The other things were, um, just normal. Er, sorry, not birds, but the, uh... The snackoons and other things that destroy your crops. I'm used to them being birds, because of, you know, starred. I thought they destroyed your crops, you know, and you needed to put it up to keep them from destroying your crops. I didn't know they did other things to your, uh, farm. Really? Hmm. Well, I've been specifically making them extra for, like, Nelvari and other places, because I thought that they were there. But I thought the description of the, uh... It never prevented the seasonal effects from affecting my stuff. It specifically says that it prevents the, um... Thingies from destroying your crops. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of bullshit. Oh, right. That's the dinosaur room. Uh. Alright, I can't speak with Darius. Okay. Well, let me go get one. <laughs> and we'll take a look. Maybe I just misinterpreted it. Totally possible. But I was under the impression that's what it was. Because they did destroy a couple of my crops prior to me being able to, um, make anything. But I guess I just misunderstood. <clears throat> Also, I need to find that pirate girl. Oh, she's over there. <laughs> I knew I recognized her location. Hello, Eddie. That might be it. Because there are other totems that have other effects. That I knew about. Hello, Zyla, have some cotton candy! Well, we're heading to, uh, um, Sunhaven here in a second, so. We'll look for Darius later. Boom, 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 boom.
Oh, hi, Rosa. You're looking stronger than ever. Oh, thanks. I just woke up like this. <laughs> huh? Oh, no. That's why I said the, the birds, you know, as in like, you know, the crows and stardew would destroy your crops. Yeah. Dracoons, rabbits, raccoon pirates, baby dragons. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Farming totems just give you experience. Yeah. Oh, uh, you were thinking of the spring, summer, fall, and winter totem. That would make sense. I actually forgot those existed until you mentioned them, to be honest. Why did I play popcorn? No worries. I was like, I know I'm bad, but I didn't think I was that bad. But maybe I'm just tired. And I'm misunderstood. And I didn't turn off the bosses yet, because obviously I still need to do more for the achievements. I gotta beat up one boss solo, and I gotta get help for the other boss. Because I beat up one boss solo, but not the other one. <laughs> what that? Oh, the Moon Dragon scale. I still don't know what that's for. Why do I have grapes? Oh, that's why I've got grapes. Yes, yes, yes. Hello! Well, I just have to do uh, the uh, duo for spring and then solo for summer. So it's not like the longest amount of time that it's gonna take to do it. I'm doing all right, how are you yourself? Do I have any extra sandstone? That's great, dear. Oh, uh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got bribed. Thank God I'm not a person to listen to bribes. I just take it and do my own thing. Very confused. Oh, Funky, just in time for our meeting. Is it just about to begin? Oh, right. Yes, about the town council meeting. 
situation, I'm afraid, has grown much more concerning. The citizens are worried about the safety of Sunhaven. It's going to hold a bit of an unplanned public address to reassure everyone that Sunhaven is still safe and secure. It'd be good if they hear you speak. You've actually gone out to brave the darkness and see the city of Withergate for yourself. You're a hero! Sunhaven needs heroes right now. No, you're expecting a councilman. Will you come along with us? Yeah, sure, lead the way. I just glossed over it because it wasn't important. It's just, that was the typical, you've, you know, progressed X amount of hearts. People are so naive in it. It is true that the darkness has spread into the borders of our town, but I promise that you are safe here. As long as our borders are secure, I'll personally commune with the Sun Dragon to ensure that fact. Small fungi has braved the northern forest, venturing to the city of Withergate. If returned, and have much to tell us of our journey. The city of darkness? Must have sunk more than a few monsters along the way, I'd reckon. Anyone can do it, I'm not surprised it's fungi. Oh my, what a tough journey that must have been. Hmm. What, that whippersnapper saying up there? Alright, I'm leaving this up to you. Put that face to rest. Uh, here goes nothing. I'd like to point out that we have nothing good to say. <laughs> but whatever. I have lived among the citizens of Withergate. Some are in awe. Others are suspicious. The monster folk of Withergate are not unlike you and I. Though many in the tenders look, about, or look upon you with tentative curiosity. Though those who still don't believe your words. <laughs> it's true, Monster Folk only want a safe place to live. I'm not sure if they're buying what you're saying, but we've got confidence. Peace with Withergate is an option. I'm going to commune for peace. Yeah! Well spoken, most of the citizens seem much more at ease now. I have to go, though. Elios wants to speak with me. Oh, if Elios personally summoned you, then it is no doubt it. Give me a moment to bring this day on me to an end. Alright, let's go speak with Solon here real fast. I already look at these. Yeah. I was told who my uh, special person was. Did I already turn that in? I think I did. I can't remember Jack Diddly Squat. Cause my brain is dumb. Boom, boom. Is this my saying stone? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's not mine. I found it on the ground. In a rock. And I hit it a bunch. And then it was not in a rock. Fuck is Aster. Oh, Caspera. That's why I had silk. Huh. Seems past me knew what I was doing, while future me or present me doesn't. Oh well. Man, this beach is a mess. Someone should pick it up. Um, how many hearts are we at? I know, right? But I'm not surprised future me doesn't know what's going on. Escort. 
can't do that right now. Right now, we need every soldier. I suppose I could spare Pinto, but he just slowed you down. I don't think you need an escort anymore. Ah, oh, God. Useless. Well, if I'm gonna do that, I've got other things I gotta do first. All right, first things first, I need five of you. One minute, name on mine. Uh-huh. Next, I need to grab you. Fine on that front. I've just been ignoring this area completely. Like, these animals are fine. As long as they're fed, they're fine. I don't have an auto-hugger machine, but they're getting hugs in their butts, so it's okay. Whatever. We ignore what I say. Golden wood, duh, 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 duh. or something. I don't even remember what gold we need still. We need something gold. It's not the feather. Not me to take that baby food or that food, whatever. Maybe I don't get it from them. Maybe I get it somewhere else. Look at all that power, point plus point nine. Oof, we so strong. Honestly shocked that the gold doesn't like decrease ever. It's just permanently a good bonus. If you're willing to look well for it. Can't you technically, if you actually spent the amount of time necessary, just get like close to infinite like stats? Like, just one shot at everything with a sword, with a spell. If you're willing to invest the amount of time to get all of the uh, community tokens just to constantly buy those potions. Wait. How many hearts are we on, Wesley? I knew it. I wanted to make sure I didn't forget something. <sighs> because if you buy the potions, it's just a flat number up, and I've yet to see anything like change. That's why I theorized, <clears throat> you know, if you just essentially kept getting so many community tokens and bought the flat, uh, token upgrade, 
because that has, at least I haven't seen it diminish yet. I haven't bought like infinite, I bought like a handful of each. I'm going the wrong way for what I want. I didn't mean the outskirts, but whatever. We're here anyway. We're gonna have to come down here anyway to find Caspera, so. Put my diamond away, damn it. Well, I have some cotton candy, sir. Imagine if my movement speed was just permanently like a hundred percent higher, so two hundred percent movement speed. I'd be zooming. Zoom boom boom ba boom ba ba boom ba 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 boom ba 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 Sharona Karen Chiron actually I think is how you pronounce the uh that dude Sorry if I don't remember my Greek or Roman mythology. I think we're also only missing two or three total snackoons. I needed a different turn, but I don't remember. Is this where I want to be? I don't think so. Something tells me it isn't, but also something says maybe it is. It is. Aha, it is. It is. Thanatos. Oh yeah? I 
still have to find the lost treasure of the ascent. Is this the lost treasure of the ascent? That really wasn't lost. It was just kind of sitting there waiting for the uh, taking. But, you know, whatever. I could have gotten that literally at any time. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Darkness spreads even further, overtaking Sunhaven's borders. The time has come to push back the night. I have been watching your journey to Withergate, seeing you overcome each obstacle along the way. I am proud to call you a member of Sunhaven as well as my apprentice. I grant you one more blessing to aid in your battle against the darkness. It is done. Your energy, still so familiar, has grown even stronger than when I first blessed you. You have come far now that we have. <laughs> Elios grows suddenly silent, not finishing his words. His eyes narrow with concern, and he tilts his massive head towards the distant Sunhaven. What is wrong? Sunhaven has been attacked by the enemy. What? The fight against the darkness begins now. Come, we spare no more words. Join me! Okay. Quickly. Um. Huh. Neat! I don't have to walk! The mighty flap of his wings, the two of you soar through the sky at a blazing speed. You can barely keep hold of Elios as he rockets towards Sunhaven, the town growing ever closer with each passing moment. Sit upon Elios as he banks over Sunhaven's town square. Down below, a small army of darkness monsters are running wild through the streets of town. With a blast of fire, Elios expertly dispatches a huge wave of the attackers, obliterating them with his fiery breath. You leap from Elios' back, landing below to join the battle. Yar ha har! Was that you up there on Elios' back? It was a legendary entrance, but the battle is far from over. Wow, it's battle's over for the moment. Oh, that's good. Okay, are you all right? I saw you leap from Elios. It was an impressive sight. Now I feel guilty. We didn't leave any fighting for you to do. <laughs> Glad everyone seems okay. These strange monsters materialize from within the darkness itself. I've never encountered anything quite like it. Our combined efforts have driven the attackers to the outskirts of town. The darkness seems to conjure them back as soon as they are defeated. Probably those weird plants. Those people don't seem bothered. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Hostages. The worst kind of plant. But now it seems the monsters have retreated some of the town's outskirts, but there's no telling when they might mount another attack. I believe I can create a spell to banish them. When these creatures are slain, they lay behind a bit of their ancestors. If I had enough, I could create a ward. Hold on now, a ward large enough to cover all of Sunhaven? Are you sure about that? Won't be easy, Captain, but it's for Sunhaven. To make the job as easy as possible, I'll need a lot of their essence, probably around a thousand. I'll head north. Once I have the essence of a thousand, well, okay. All right, go kill a thousand enemies. Charge. So each enemy is either going to give you 10 or 100. Nope. Individuals. Let's go. This is going to be wonderful. I need a thousand essences. How much do these sell for? Nothing. Any cool pets here? Nope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aww, your thingy quacked. I know what to do to make you feel better. 
Fire beam! <laughs> there you go. Now it's melted. Did I help? I thought that there's no way the game was gonna be this mean to actually make you get a thousand individual things. I have now retracted my statement. I want that crown. I can't get the ground. <clears throat> I would say, honestly, a thousand is just barely sitting below, like, what I think is acceptable amount anymore, and I'm just like, no, there's no fucking way. I don't know how to get that person in town. What's this guy doing sleeping here? Something is off. Feels like you're being hunted. Fool, you stumbled right into my trap. Sorry, could you repeat that? I knew you couldn't resist my trap. Blindly walked right into my clutches. Ah, I see. I figured out what I was wondering about. My name is Vivi. I already know all about you, Funky. Hey, wait, don't grieve me. I'm here to take your head. You don't greet your assassin. How are you gonna assassinate me from Underdale? Use your brain now that you're here. I'm gonna spring out from my hiding spot. Okay, just give me a target. A stupid thing weighs a ton. Get off of me. Are you stuck? Stay where you are. Don't move. All right, well, let's go help. Sakun doesn't seem to be sleeping too deeply. You could probably rouse him with a few chosen words. Wake up! <laughs> the Sakun wakes up and takes his leave, searching for somewhere to sleep where people don't shout so much. It's a squirrel! Oh, it's my bad. Now that I've escaped from that creature's grass, it's time to say goodnight. Goodnight. Ta-ta! Wow, you're bad at this. <laughs> you're stronger than I anticipated. That's right, I manipulated the gravity so that you would fall. Just have to keep watching you. I'll learn everything there is to know about you, and then it's off with your head. Wait, what? Well, uh, bye. Okay, bye. Nice to meet you too. Looks like you have a new friend. Yay, we made a friend. Now they only slightly want to murder me. That's the best kind of murder. The slight kind.
What kind of cringy name is Darkness Wolf? Yeah, I'd say with how quickly these respawn at least that a thousand is kind of just about at the edge of, in my opinion, acceptable for a giant collectathon. Enough to be obnoxious, but not enough to be like grown worthy. To the point where you're just like, I'm just gonna ignore the game now. Personal opinion, of course. And with everything respawning incredibly fast, makes it a little nicer, too. Probably getting all a thousand right here without doing a whole lot of work. Yes, but this is, uh, Reddit moderator cringeworthy. Third of the way there. Oh, halfway. Nice.
One more, let's go. This should be our last everything. Okay, have you been fighting back the Doctor's monsters? You must have some of the essence. Here it is, all 1,000. Oh my, I didn't expect you to bring me all the essence by yourself. You must have been busy. That's just a couple hours. Great work as always. There should be far more than enough for great powerful work. Give me some space, everyone. Poof, people moved. Magically. Word work? Yes, I believe so. Anything comprised of the essence I use in the word should be unable to step foot in the anyway. Great work! Thank you. Admittedly, my arms feel like pudding after channeling so much magic, but I'll survive. But never mind that. Now that Sunhaven is safe, we must now turn our attention to convincing Withergate that we must have peace. Saw me back at. Uh, wait, who's that coming up the road? Claude? What's wrong? Is there trouble elsewhere in town? What? No, nothing like that. I noticed the doctor's monsters have been driven out of Sunhaven, so you must have completed the ward spell. I took a guess that Funky would be here with you. I came here to give him something. Huh? Relations between Withergate and Sunhaven have gotten bad. I can't help but feel there was something I could have done to stop that from happening. I'm not sure what you mean, Claude. What could you have done? I'm from Withergate. <clears throat> well, me to say I lived there for a time before I moved to uh, Sunhaven. Claude, that was your secret. It's okay. I'm tired of keeping it a secret. If I had just been honest from the very start, maybe a relation between two cities could have been better. That is certainly quite a surprise to learn. But don't blame yourself, Claude. None of this was your responsibility. Maybe, but still, Withergate was my home just like Sunhaven is. I'd like to see neither of them harmed. Yeah, the royal family wants proof that Sunhaven can be a friend. I'm sure this will suffice. A paper? What is this? It is the original copy of my concerto. Tell them it's an offering of peace. It will mean something to them, I'm sure. On behalf of all of Sunhaven, thank you, Claude. I'm certain your concerto will certainly make a fitting gift for Withergate's rulers. There's something I can give you as well. This is a little short notice, but since we're all in the moment. 
Matter of moments right there in the dusty field, she scrawls one of the most beautifully scribed letters you have ever seen. Reading it quickly once ever she nods and seals the letter with a stamp of red wax. Hey, you go. Official proclamation of peace. I will see that it gets to Withergate. Well, then, see if everything's taken care of. All right. Go to bed. So, Catherine managed to get through the barrier after all, <laughs> so I was wrong. But Pal was impressive. Seems it truly is, I suppose an apology is in order. But don't worry about that, it's time for you to get back to Rithergate, right? Right. Oh, and thank you for all you've done, for everyone. The Winter Festival is tomorrow!
My pet Uwe, who is very gooey. There's all my leftover. There's definitely more than that. Alright, one more and you're maxed out. I'm sad we don't get this snack coon until the end of next year in game. Made sure to clarify in game this time, since some of you think I occasionally mean IRL times. You're just like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Of course. Of course. No, no clue whatsoever. No, 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 no. Uh, 
Froggy, can I have that crown? I feel like I can get that crown somehow. But how? Gotta be able to jump high enough. There's gotta be a reason I get this fly. There's gotta be a reason behind that fly. I've yet to figure it out. But there's gotta. Right. Like the frog prince. But I have no way of getting up there. So I just keep getting flies. Oh well. I've been storing the flies. Why are you awkward? Nothing like going backwards in a relationship with someone just as awkward as me.
How much do you detest the lack of caring I am giving to my farm? Cozy. How much is it driving you bonkers? How little care I've been giving to my, uh, farm. Like, it's just full of crap everywhere. I mean, clearly it's not bothering you that much, you haven't noticed. I also wasn't trying to get you to, like, be upset about it either, so... I just, I don't utilize my full farm. I don't really see myself as utilizing much of this area anyway. I don't know. Yep. It is indeed quite a lot. It depends on what you're also looking to do in the games, too, you know? Funnily enough, Nelvari is one of my least favorite farms. I detest it a lot. Yeah, it's one of, out of all the options, it's one of my least favorites. I don't understand the issue. Though to be fair, I also don't really like this farm either. I like the Sunhaven farm. But I also feel it's way too big.
But I'm pretty sure that opinion doesn't surprise you a whole lot about what I like or dislike. <laughs> it, it feels like that's just me. might be something that's much nicer for me, like, if I wasn't juggling, you know, three different farms. Potential. I don't know. What is it? I'm busy today, if you aren't able to tell. Peace offerings from Sunhaven? Hey. Uh, there's no need to bother my father when he's so hard at his kingly work. Mind, uh, look over your little tokens of peace. Meet me in the foyer with the gate castle. I'll be waiting. Yes, Prince. Have a diamond, bitch! You actually showed up. I hope these offerings of yours aren't a waste of my time. Well, let's see what you have, but I warn you, it better be worthy to convince me. I have this proclamation from Sunhaven's leader. Let me see that. See a human archmage? Interesting. Her words are well written, if nothing else. Perhaps someday I will meet this archmage for myself, so I might properly judge her character. Until then, these are just words on paper. Sunhaven has never trusted mankind before, and I expected... Am I expected to believe a single piece of parchment changes any of that? I also have this. What is this? Darius looks over Claude's concerto, scanning the paper up and down. A brief flurry of emotion just pulls his face into different directions, and for a moment he seems at a loss of words. How did you get this? From Claude himself. It's a peace offering from Sunhaven to Withergate. Claude? Living in Sunhaven? I would call him a traitor, but Claude is too brilliant to do something so stupid as to betray his own kind. Let's imagine that our grand composer left for Sunhaven of all places. I don't know why Claude chose to leave Withergate in order to live in Sunhaven, but it doesn't matter. There must be something redeeming about your little human town if the likes of Claude have taken up living now. Sunhaven means Withergate no harm. I just want to stop the darkness. <laughs> I see. So your true motives finally come out. There's just one thing I want to know. Do you truly think you can stop Dinus? I know that I can. You don't get anywhere but crushed underfoot if you approach Dinus with anything other than that attitude. Very well, I will vouch for you to my father. The gateway to Dinus' sanctum is the northernmost door to the castle. Good luck with the moon dragon. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. More jump speed! Yay. <laughs> oh, hello, are you here to make an offering to gain the moon uh, dragon's good gracious? Can you explain the altar? As you can see, this is the altar room. There are the altars at which peasants such as yourself may present an offering to the moon dragon in an attempt to gain his blessing. 
Simply place a tribute in the correct altar and Dinah shall receive it when the altar is full. When you're ready, Dinah sits in the next room straight ahead. Be warned, none have yet made an offering that the moon dragon has deemed satisfactory. Yeah, that must mean you came here to fight him yourself. Well, thank you for letting me know. It's always easier to clean up his challenges when I have a warning. He's in the next room straight ahead. Fine, let me show you how to use the altar. Check the altar to see what you need for this. Got this. Nice. Okay. Five thousand tickets. Oof. Five diamonds. Thirty fire crystals, Jesus Christ. Good God. So I have to fill out all of those. Great. That's a lot of stuff. most difficult one being getting 5,000 of these, but... I don't even think we have 5,000... Yeah, we barely have 5,000 of these. But we are going pretty heavy on the juicer, so... I'll probably want to make note of which of the um, food items next time I go there I'll need. Right, I can sell the rest of those because that's taken care of.
those. I need seven more of those, but that's a good start. I need a full stack of stone, which I don't currently have. I get it. Take ten just in case. This one's 10 as well, but it's probably 30. We'll find out soon. Need one cookie. I think I needed a hundred weed. Right. Out of the food, I know I need tomato soup. So I need a tomato and a carn. cheesecake before. Okay, I guess cheesecake wasn't in the oven. It was in the cooking pot. Cheese, milk, sugar, sugar. Why do I make life difficult on me? <laughs> Boom. 
No matter what, I'm going to have to go and go into the mines because I'm going to need more fire crystal and I'm going to need more um, stone. I need a lot more stone, but at least I know where to go to get lots of stone. Same place where I'm gonna have to go to get a lot more fire crystals. So I assume if I didn't want to deal with any of this, I could just go fight the moon dragon. Don't feel like doing that this playthrough. I'll beat him up another time. And of course, I assume it's gonna be one of the toughest fights in the game, judging by the way the game sets it up. Don't have anything for that. Ah, uh, it is 30. I need to actually write these down because there's no way I'm going to remember them. Which means I need a piece of paper and a working pen. It's more fun to go beat them up. Alright, this is my broken pen. Okay, so... 20... Tato... 20... Tomato, 20, carrot, 30, sugar cane, 30, onion, 30, green root, Flour, 30 rice. It's like a freaking uh, recipe book. What am I missing? Oh, a crystal tetra and a sky ray. Oh, son of a bitch. The Crystal Tetra was the really hard one. The one I had a lot of trouble finding in the first place. I'm pretty sure it only shows up when it's raining. Okay, it was five of that. Ugh. So I need... Crystal Tetra, Sky Ray, 999 Stone, Coal. 100 Cooper,
Oh, it was 20! Son of a bitch! I didn't even grab blueberries. <laughs> Alright. 10. Grass. Orange. 20. Bloob. Three hundred log. Ah, oh, shit. Time moves while I'm doing this. Great. Cookies. <sighs> Spicy ramen. Sesame. Rice bowl. Coffee. Energy smoothie. And shimmer root treat. Well, it seems you completed the gold altar. Enjoy your reward. Again, eight more to go. <laughs> I feel like watching me go beat him up, though, as I was saying earlier, would be a lot more entertaining than watching me uh, do a collectathon of, you know, a giant list of items. Yes, I was writing them. Am I going to be able to read these in like 20 minutes? Apps a fucking lootly not. I'd like to point out that I said I needed 20 tato, 20 tomato. 20 tato, 20 tomato. Oh, I'm passing the fuck out here in a minute. I'm not making it into my room. I'm gonna try, but also someone's smashing my door. I am so close. Please don't pass out. Jesus Christ. Ho! Oh, let's go. Look how good I am. Do not eat your brother's food. <clears throat> you can look at the internet, but you cannot eat your brother's food. He's like, but I wanna.
10% more? Okay. Sesame rice bowl, rice and seaweed. I don't even have rice. Great. Okay. I just have to purchase rice? That doesn't feel right, but I'm not seeing anything saying otherwise. Got most of the logs I need. That's nice. Before I do anything else, let's go to the bakery here.
I missed that three times in a row. You don't have anything I need. I know where to buy some items. Right, anyway, back over here. Uh, this isn't gonna be useful. Okay, green room. Thankfully, I have exactly 30 green room, but the problem is I need to make a green, a sh oh no, a shimmer root treat. Which requires the shimmer root. Okay. And cinnaberry. Might have both of those, actually. Maybe. Or I don't have either. Ah, uh, God's wallop. Well, oh well. Okay. So we've got the 30 green root. coffees. That's on its way at some point soon. We hope. <laughs> um, I'll just grab that soon. I meant to check for sugar cane. I think I used up all of my sugar cane, which is really unfortunate, but is what it is. Okay. Traffic light, thanks, Donovan. I wouldn't know when to stop without you. See what I did there. Still need to like actually like utilize them, but we're on our first step though. All right, now from you, we need twenty carat.
20 mato. 20 potato. 30 onion. 30 sugar cane. Did I buy rice already? Doubtful. I'll just buy 40 of rice. All right. Uh, I guess I should probably go see that new person. Give them the welcome to Sunhaven Apple. Be a good neighbor. Or they're not even in there. Cause they're right there! This is why you check your map. <laughs> My new neighbor, who I've never met before! You were, uh, stuck under a snackoon. <laughs> Have an apple! It was nice, she guesses. Uh, do I have a certain amount of time to, uh, actually go and start the, uh, holiday event, or no? I don't actually remember, or actually I don't know. And I don't want to, like, miss out on the event, but also I have stuff to do. You know? That whole dilemma of trying to do yes a bunch of things at once. Do I just ditch Nelvari for the day, then? No, but then some things won't grow, and then it'll be weird. But I don't want to miss an event. Uh, alright, let's think. It's likely? Um, fuck it. We'll just do the event. Happy winter! Let's go to the festival. Let's do it. I'm glad so many of you could join us for this year's Winter Festival. Everyone in Sunhaven has worked hard this year. <sighs> Whether it is our guards patrolling the streets or the children studying their lessons, each of us had a part to play in Sunhaven's prosperity. And despite the abnormal times that have set upon us, we've all done wonderful. You cheer on Lucia's words and several others in attendance join you. Lucia beams, thanking you with a courteous nod. She continues. Let's all come together and share what we have. That the goodwill of today usher in the goodwill of tomorrow. And that... Please partake in the fest. Let's eat! We're all like, chow, chow, chow. Mushroom soup? This really takes me back to my training days. We'd have this stuff every night. Mushrooms are weird and chewy and yun. <laughs> Next time we should try creamy fish soup. I wouldn't have thought that tomato soup would be especially festive, yet it feels perfectly appropriate. It's delicious. The chicken noodle is great this year. Just enough salt and a good chicken to noodle ratio. B 
bum 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 Just socks! Hello, Holly. Who are you? Don't usually eat in company, okay? All the bachelors and bacheloretses. Oh, the hot cocoa machine's gonna take forever! A Snow Elios. Is some horns? I didn't expect this. Okay. We need to find one more thing. I supposed to get snow? There's snow everywhere. Is there a specific snow pile I have to find? Or is it just done now? Is this bull crap? I'm gonna talk to Joy first. What do you got for me? Santa food. Holiday throne, wardrobe, couch, rug, table. We'll buy it, hopefully, all. Definitely don't have room for a bunch of stuff, though, because uh, I didn't think about it. But whatever. I don't do that much decorating, so. Nope, I don't. Some nice bonuses we've gotten now. Oops. A 
I'll buy two of those, two of those, two of those. Oh, out of room. Uh, each of these string glides, that's what I was afraid of. That's fine. You know what? There we go. Problem solved. Alright. Where the fuck is this snow now? It's like, it's winter, it shouldn't be that hard to find some snow. Yeah, no shit, but why can't I get any? Where am I missing the snow from? Like, there's snow right here. that just to make a snow Elios. Oh yeah, we're also going to be given a gift, so I need to get rid of something anyway. Um... Honestly? Don't care. Gifting tradition! Wonderful. Give me two shakes! Alright, everyone, who is participating? Shall we begin? <laughs> he tosses t our gift. Okay. It's a poorly wrapped gift. Alright, everyone, time to guess who got you your gift. Me? Why do I have to go first? Ah, oh, fuck. What did we get? A shadow ring? Who would give us a shadow ring that increases our attack? VV is an option. Donovan. And maybe one of these two. Who do you think gave us a shadow ring? The fact that it talks about moon makes me think it's definitely Withergate or whatever. I'll go. Yeah, let's try Zalia for Zala first. My guess is that you got my gift. Sorry. Darn it. All right, Darius. Nope. Wasn't either of those two. Haha, it was VV. Good show, you guessed correctly. Well done. Oh, it looks like someone's about to guess you. Okay, here goes nothing. Uh, did you give me my secret gift? I knew it. I like it, by the way. 
was a VV. <laughs> yeah, the person we literally just met. Ugh, how late's it gonna be? Well, no, I'll keep that for now. Because you never know if it'll be like, Urgh. Okay, got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Okay, another moon dragon scale. I honestly don't know what they're for. to the holiday zone.
some math. Decorated, bitch. Uh, Sells for a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw these in here for now. Okay. Oh, for the love of God, they come back. Every season. Do I have to do this every season? Noxious, but whatever. How much you can do about it? I know. Days are numbered! Okay. The game told me I have days and that they are numbered. I don't know what numbers they are, but I have numbered days. Who chose the numbers? Do I get a say in the numbers?
Gonna have to confirm exactly where the that this. I'm pretty sure the Sky Ray is a Navari fish. But I'm gonna have to confirm that. So. Fourteen days. Of fucking course. Fifty coal. Okay. Fifty coal. Nice. Second date with Kai. Okay. 
Need to do two checks in here. First is the Nelvari. But I already know this one. Yeah, Sky Ray and then the Crystal Tetra. And then this, I'm missing. Obviously, still missing two of those. That's gonna be the most obnoxious to try to get, but whatever. It is nice to see the just green, green grass again. Ah. give you a gift, but have an apple. Trash, 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 fudge. I mean, I'm not surprised, but fudge. food let's go that might have been the uh, letter I accidentally skipped through I like parts of winter specifically the parts where it looks nice outside but I don't have to be there which admittedly is when they're so green on the ground and there's just a light sprinkling of snow in the sky that's what's good. Anything more than that is no. awkward part where like everything's like slightly off it's like some things are ready other things aren't Ugh. Worst part is I knew this was going to happen. Oh well. It is what it is. I'm not gonna make much of a profit today because obviously I need my magic for other shit. Ugh. So 
So I'm just gonna let that sit for today. I mean, I don't have a choice. I was very, very, very lucky I had enough. And I didn't have to go out and buy anything. by this general store, see if you happen to have any items that I can Didn't think so. Fuck you, Wesley. I don't want to see you anyway. Wait for the game to be like, oh, but that's intentional. Like, uh-huh. Right, I never wrote down the, uh, the frickin' things I need from Molitor. Hi, what are you selling? I need this. I need this. I need to go visit Bernard. Real fast. Oh, copy. Knock that bad boy off my list. Look at that. Look at that! Everything's just coming up daisies.
All right, we got the 100 copper. for sale somewhere, but where? others who sells them Look, it's an Easter egg. demon orbs. an apple. Tells me not to degrade myself, so I give him an apple. Get a ribbon from you.
We get a doggy date tomorrow. Have a dog bone, boy. We're at nine hearts, so I need to give him an envelope soon. Which lines up because I'm gonna need to go buy another uh, thing of uh, dog bones for him soon. Should finish a couple, maybe. We might finish a couple more uh, altars right here. I got the green root. That's about it for here. I don't have any of those. I obviously do not have that. I have that and that. Gotta finish that one very soon. Where do I get the riches in a the adventure keepsake? I think I started with the riches keepsake actually. But I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure I did. My favorite. Interesting. A butterfly that protects me from taking damage. Once every 30 seconds. All right, energy smoothie done. So I just need those. Nice. And where do you get the adventure one? You definitely gotta be able to purchase them from someone. I will find them. Goal in game tomorrow will be mines, getting the stone and the fire crystals. We're gonna have to wait for the first set of rain to be able to go get uh, the crystal tetra. Coincidence or not, that was the only time we found one was when it was raining, so I'm gonna just say it's a rain-required item. Fish, whatever. And then we have to wait at minimum 14 days in order to be able to get what we need for the Shimmer Root Treat. Minimum.
What I'm gonna have to figure out is who do I go to to uh, get help with that one dude? Because we managed to solve that one by ourselves. Then again, I also didn't know you could get help for it at the time, so. Nice. One of the fish I needed. Popsicle penises. <laughs> I made it rain on the fish. I wonder if some are like in the forest or something. Ugh. Or if I just haven't been lucky. That's a sunfish. That's one I needed. That's a puffer fish. I think there's two or three more we need.
Let's see, we got two dates tomorrow. Guess I ran out of grapes. Oh well. Guess he's getting apples. losing crops cuz I'm an idiot Solid gold, y'all. There it is. There's the richest keepsake. I don't think anyone gives me Yeah, no one actually gives you that other one. 
So where do I find it? I have a th thought, but if I'm right, I'm not happy about it. has an average mouth. Two more. Floral trout and neon tetra, what sounds like river fishes, so not the ocean. <sighs> okay. Fine. Purchase her freaking couch and shit. But there's like. Oh, it's you! What brings you in here? Hey, I got your pen pal. Ah, so you got the pen pal letter I wrote. I was wondering if anyone was ever reading it. <laughs> oh, wait, don't tell me. You hear about that free mail, aren't you? Ah, I figured I'd give it a go. Haha, <laughs> well, you gave it to the right place. It was fun writing that letter. No pressure, though. Mm -hmm. Free food is the life for me. Do, 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 do.
That was delicious. Nice, extra cheeseburger, please. All right, maybe we should check to see if he has any of the food items I need. Do you have 30 rice goods, sir? Or some spicy ramen? Nope. Should also look at uh, getting some uh, mashed potatoes too. Mashed taters. I'm a poison shopkeeper. What's your shop's name? It's a VV Special Poison Shop and Flower Boutique. Uh huh. Have an apple. An apple a day keeps the assassin away, don't you know? Or something of the sort. Have you been eating your apples? I'm a fucking idiot. I'm very unhappy with myself. Maybe it's no apple a day and no sa assassin to play. The reason I'm an idiot is because I'm pretty sure I just caught a neon tetra and then I left the screen without collecting it, which means I didn't get a neon tetra. Oh. You know what we call that in the business? Oofers! Have an apple of anger. The angry apple. Yeah, you should. But of course, you'll want to make sure you claim all responsibility for all the phrases you've learned for yourself, because you know. You don't want to get any issues with like, you know, people being like, copyright. Like, nope, nobody else came up with these phrases other than me. Just me, myself, and me.
would hate to steal your uh, thunder or something. Something, something, legal with you. Something, something, you can have all the credit. <laughs> trying to burst down my door. Please hold. That is a pen and paper on my desk, but. Always the cat tax. Well, I would fix Krobus stretch, but uh, he doesn't like it when his tummy's exposed. Is a long cat though, so. Did we pass each other? What? 
Where the fuck he be? He be right here. He not be right here. Son of a bitch. Well, I gotta hurry anyway. I have a date with him that ends in 20 minutes. Right, you ready to go? Yeah. This might not be the coolest spot in Weathergate, but it's one of my favorites. You can really feel the city. So what's the coolest spot in town then? If you're asking me, I would say the club. Sorry to get into though. I've only seen the inside once where I decided to sneak in. I don't need a club to have fun. You've got the right idea. Look at us now, we're doing sitting around. I don't know about you, but I'm having a good time. Uh, it's different, but it's nice. It's the far thing from Withergate, based on what I've seen. Hey, is it true you have a beach? We should throw a monster beach party. That sounds like fun. So, am I the coolest person you know? Aw, oh, he was blushing. He's just like, woohoo! We have wooed an adventurer. Where did that stupid bat go?
forgot what I was getting for him. I guess I just need to talk to him now until he wants to date. That's a first. I need to do. Go up there and later. Oh, but I have stuff to drop up in there. Oh, fine, I'll do it. I'm waiting anyway until we get to about five o'clock, so whatever. doesn't like apples. I don't know if I already knew that or not, but I do now. Well, so far, the only other person who didn't like apples was the doctor. Everybody else liked them. And by like them, I mean it didn't lower their hearts.
Yeah. We- I just found out, I think, that Darius disliked it. I knew Warnheart didn't, but I forgot frequently. Nonchalantly just getting a rare trinket, no biggie. Man, someone should pick up this beach. Strat really is it, because I have so many. Uh, it's certainly better than sitting on the beach, isn't it? Besides, look at the places we can go. That's right. Why you can look across the ocean and dream of lands beyond, books can actually take you to those places. Well, in your mind at least. Unless they're magic books. These books are magic, I'm assuming. Listen, Kai, not that your little library date isn't super duper cute and all, but could you keep it down over there, please? No one ever takes me on a library date, stupid lucky farmer. Oh, yes, Amanda, we'll try to stay quiet. <laughs> so what made you choose the library? I don't need to do anything crazy or exciting with you. Enjoying some books together would be perfect. We can explore the worlds together in pages. You're so goofy. Let's read a book about history. It's one of my favorite subjects. History of the four regions and their people. I figured I should read up on the four regions since I'm living in them now. The Eastern Region. It's a bit boring, but Kai's narration is entertaining all on its own. I could read books about like this all day. There's always something new to learn, you know. Hey, do please keep it down. No one reads to me. How is this fair? Sorry, Dan. Yeah, sorry. Why don't you pick something new to read? Like what? So many books. Suddenly a leather-bound book edged in sparkling gold leaf catches your eye. What about that one? Oh, noteworthy people of the world. This looks like an interesting one. Let's see. Old kings and queens, archmages. Oh, hey, it's Lucia. And is this her grandfather? Ha! Same red hair. Looks like you have to be either rich or important, or both, to be included in this. They're serious when they said the world. There's people from all over. Such great pictures of them, too. Hey, look at this. This person has the same name as me. I've never met another Kai before. They look an awful life like you. Yeah, let's look at the looks like me, but wearing ridiculous clothes. Maybe it's my long lost cousin. Cousin who is named the same as me? What does the book say? Oh, mm -hmm. Prince Kai of the Old Kingdom Quab. Sixth son to the Grand Emperor. Uh, sorry, I'm feeling a bit dizzy all of a sudden. Kai, that's you. Yes, that seems to be the case. Can you believe it? Guess I'm a prince. Zarzik. That name rings a bell. I mean, apparently he's my father. Did you just say you're a prince? 
Why couldn't I have found a pop prince wash up on the beach? Stupid lucky farmer. Apologies, Amanda, but yes, according to the book, I must be on some sort of journey when my ship crashed and I ended up inside him. But the memory still won't come back. Don't you want to go back to your kingdom? Please, please calm down. I'm not going back to my kingdom. But I'm building a life in Sunhaven. One where I do what I want to make myself happy. I. It's so annoying that some of the words are cut off by his sleeve. Something can cook, even if I'm not the best at either of those things yet. But I don't want to be a prince of some faraway kingdom across the sea. Come on. Are you sure? Yes, absolutely. Whatever it was before in the past, what it, what I am now is all that matters. I'm just Kai from Sunnyman. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. If I had a chance to be a princess, I would take it. I support your decision, Kai. I'm the sixth son to some stuffy old emperor. Probably won't even be messed over there. Well, maybe all my various admirers will miss me. First you're talking in my quiet library, then you're screaming. Now you're a prince, but you want to stay in this do-nothing town? I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Now! Can't even imagine the library of a prince and to just turn it down. What a waste of good literature. You make everyone happy, I guess. Oh, now his arm is behind it when it doesn't matter. Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, let's sleep on it. Uh, can you, like, not tell anyone? Of course. Stop talking to me! <laughs> Poor Amanda, she's having a bad day. First, someone gets a library date, but not her. Second... <laughs> the library date is reading to each other. <laughs> Third, oh yeah, it's a prince. Fourth, she just gives up on life. <laughs> Ugh. I come here hoping for some good old fashioned fire crystals, and what do we get? Nothing but rock and rock and rocks. I mean, we need rocks too, but. What's sad is we had like quadruple the amount of rocks we needed at one point, but like I used them to make skill books. Which, I mean, sad, but, like, you know. I'd say the skill books are definitely worth it a bit more than, uh, you know. Saving a thousand. For significantly later. 
I missed the platform. I still love that I rushed the very end of this mine, so it's like, you know, not fully completed, but like, there's zero reason to go and complete it now. Game's bugged again. I do. I'm glad it's at the end of the stream, though, or else I would be tempted to use the, uh, the bug nature to just go and beat the last of the, uh, challenges. Heck, I could use it to go beat Dinus. I'm not going to, but... The temptation exists. I started to suspect when I didn't take damage noise to, um... Uh, fall damage. I was just like, wait a second. This feels like a bug. And then it was. Of course, we're gonna want more than that in case we never need anything else in there. <laughs> Don't worry, Ahmad. The Apple Strat will never die. Apple's got us this far, and Apple's will get us farther.
Creepy guy's still out there after a year. I needed six of those. I needed all of that. So, mark that. And that. Nice. Put that down. Six of those. I'll sell those tomorrow. Son of a bitch. Oh, well, whatever. Nice, I was right that I got the black the first time. <sighs> Whoo! We got a lot of things actually taken care of today, surprisingly. It was hectic for me because I always make things hectic for me. But I think we did a pretty good job. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. But that is where we are going to be leaving it off for today. We'll pick up with some more next week. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I 
hope you all enjoyed, and until the next time, everybody, stay funky, people. <laughs>